Bring it on! Here goes! Allow me! Allow me! Here goes! I'm still up for more! Bring it on! Here goes! Arcus, activate! Right! Prepare yourself. Ha! Let's keep moving. I won't lose! Prepare yourself! You hold my dance, an illusory offering to departing souls. Sleep, embraced by silver light! Fight! My turn! I'm still up for more. That was some fight. This sector has been abandoned for quite some time. It's not hard to imagine why so many powerful monsters settled in here. What amazes me more is just how much these Arcus Orbments are capable of. Yeah, they'll be a real asset to us in the future. They're so modern, they're practically still in testing over at the Empire. I miss the variety of arts I could use before, but in terms of balance, they're much more suited for combat than our Enigma 2s. Well, Erebonia's always had the upper hand on military technology, if nothing else. We should count ourselves lucky that Michel got his hands on them for us. On that note, we should also count ourselves lucky for being able to utilize them so well. <laughs> I admit, it's a strange feeling. It's as if we knew everything there was to know about one another, through and through. Almost as if our bodies became one. How, um, <clears throat> poetic. <laughs> Sort of like how you perform with Elia on stage, right? That's like being one, in a sense. Now that you mention it, you could put it that way, yes. 
At this point, however, I doubt I would even need one of these to match my movements to hers in battle. So this is what the Geofront's E-Sector looks like. This one supposedly had its existence hidden from the general public, didn't it? That's what Ellie said, anyway. It was kept sealed off to keep everything inside strictly corrupt officials, and Diet members used it to conceal any of- She did add that it wasn't its only use, though. Just one of them. I see. Not the kind of place we can just leave as it is, then. Yeah. We need to make our way through here, whatever it takes. Ready to give it everything we've got? Of course. Tight fit.
I'm just glad I'm going through first. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, oh never mind me. Huh. Oh, I can't tell her it's because of her outfit. Oh, found a chest. I won't lose! Prepare yourself! <laughs> now! Right! <laughs> Alright, we're safe now!
it on. Right. Arcus, activate. My turn. Here I go. Overdrive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare yourself. Battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. That takes care of them. Hope I didn't end up dragging you down any. <laughs> there was never any chance of that. I can't think of anyone else who could go through the things you did and come out stronger than ever. You should be more confident, Lloyd. There's no way I could have gone through it all alone, though. I still got a ways to go as a detective, too. And when you think about all the obstacles we've got... ...waiting for us, I'm nowhere near strong enough to handle it all. I wouldn't say that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I've got no confidence in my own abilities. I just think it's important to be able to give an honest assessment of your own strengths and weak... When it comes to pure strength in combat, Randy and Noel clearly come out on top. With processing information, it's Tio, Yona, and Fran. And in terms of negotiation tactics, I can't compare to Ellie or the Chief either. If we don't make good use of our respective strengths, we're not going to be able to get through what's ahead. We might not all be able to stay in the same place anymore, but we still need to be able to work together. Oh. They've started keeping a watch on everyone then? Yeah, I think Randy was the first one. After that, Ellie and Noel started being watched. If it weren't for Tio's help, Kia and I would probably be in trouble too. Hmm. Is Kia still with Arios and Shizuku? Yeah, Arios is looking after both of them. They should be okay for the time being. The Imperial Army sets their eye on them. Things could get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. The reason we're here is to try and avoid coming to that. Best get moving. We've still likely got a ways to go. True. Let's go. I won't lose! Allow me! Arcus, activate! Here goes! You're off balance! This is my chance! Allow me! My turn! Yeah. Uh. Alright, we're safe now!
Found a chest. On. Prepare yourself. Here it goes. You're finished now. Battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. <laughs> I step up. Check. All right. So far, so good. I suppose. Is something wrong? I just have a bad feeling about something. I'm sorry. It's probably just my imagination. So you say, but those bad feelings of yours usually pan out to be accurate. I've had my life saved by them enough times to know that. If it weren't for you, I'd have probably died on one of those landmines. Or been hit. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about those. I have much less of an idea what the cause of this one could be, though. I only have a general, vague sense that something dangerous is drawing near. Could it be that skilled warrior Sal mentioned earlier? It might be. If all we were dealing with was a skilled warrior, I'm sure I'd be able to take care of them. This, though, whatever it is, it feels far beyond my capabilities. <sighs> I'm probably not making much sense, am I? No, it's okay. Even the warning alone is appreciated. Rishia knows how to keep her cool in a crisis better than anyone I know. I need to work on kicking my instincts up a notch or two. At least so they're as good as God. Well, according to the data Tio gave us, we should be over halfway through by now. Let's just stay alert. If we don't know what we're up against, all we can do is try and be prepared for anything. Agreed.
Oh, an elevator. Our destination must be down below. Yeah, let's try and unlock it. Was uncomfortably narrow. Subjugation. Right. Come. An opening. Come with me, boy. Right. right. Nice knowing you've got my back, Rishi. I still. I won't lose! Prepare yourself! Come! Right! Take this! There! Allow me! The battle's over, but we aren't safe yet. Ha! Huh. Finally, oh my god. That's two locks done. Let's head back to the elevator. Be wary of that monster. Only take a moment. Allow me. Come. An opening. Gotcha. Right. Prepare yourself. Here goes. Wow. Allow me. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Careful. That one looks tough.
Lloyd, I think we're here. Yeah, we finally reached the end. This facility would be the center of Crossbell's orbital network, yes? In a way, the overall structure is far too complex for this to unambiguously be its center. But it's a good chunk. Either way, if the Imperial Army took it over, they'd have instant access to all info related to us on the net. Every Crossbell citizen's personal data, records on our financial transactions, even the layout of the whole Geofront. If we want to have any hope of a future, we can't allow that to happen. I agree. Why not just destroy the facility itself, though? We could, I guess. But from what I can gather, it could still prove useful to us once the net's safely back in our hands. So the plan is to leave the hardware itself intact, but wipe any and all personal data the army could take advantage of. And that's where that initialization unit Teal made comes in, right? Right. Roberts and Yona were the ones who actually designed it, though. They wrote the program for it from scratch, too. And that makes things easy on our end. Once we boot up the computer, it'll create a backup of everything we need before we... Initialization unit activated. Confirming connection to Terminal Zero. The unit will commence backing up all data, initializing the system. Are you certain you wish to continue? If so, Please press the red button at the center of the unit to proceed. Right. Commencing all required processes. <sighs> Nicely done, Lloyd. It's not like I did anything special. It's funny. Ordinarily, this kind of work would take hours. But this unit will let us get in and out in ten minutes flat. Those two never cease to amaze, do they? Roberts and Yona? They certainly are impressive. In the meantime, let's secure the area... Stop where you are. Oh my god. Is that a mean? <laughs> Insane. I didn't sense anyone coming. Oh my god. I got my thing. <sighs> wow. Targets confirmed. I presume these must be Lloyd Bannings and Rishia Mao, respectively. <gasps> How do they know our names? Hold on. Isn't that Itachi? Like the one Arios uses. I'm nowhere near as proficient with one as he is, though. But we should be able to handle the two of you, at least. Clown Soleus. Seriously? Seriously? The hell? A black puppet? Sorry, but we've got our orders. We can't let you finish what you came here for. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't let you stop us either. We won't let you past. Confirming activation of combat link. It looks like more Arcus units ended up leaking out than I thought. We should form one too then. Understood. Activating Arcus. There shouldn't be any need to neutralize them. Our goal is to buy enough time for the initialization process to finish running. Let's do this, Risha! Right. And we can't afford to give them that time, Altina. Understood. Commencing assault. Oh my... <sighs> I require your support, me. Right. Let's 
get this over with. Prepare yourself. Here goes! You're finished now! Rising Sun!
Here it goes! Finish now! Rising Sun! Now! Count on you, Altina! Acknowledged! Chance. You fiend! We can turn this around.
allow me. Right. Arcus, activate. Allow me. Prepare yourself. Now's our chance. I'll aid you. Right. You're finished now. Prepare yourself. Surprised. I knew full well Risha would pose a threat, but I wasn't expecting half as much from a simple detective. You could say it runs in the family. I'm just as impressed by how proficient you are with that blade, given your age. I've still got a long way to go, honestly. I won't be worthy of being called a divine blade anytime soon. Reen, time is running short. I think it's time you stopped holding back. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? Be careful! What's he doing? Such negative energy. Hey. 
Initialization process completed. Rebooting all systems in an initialized state. We did it! <sighs> what a relief. What should we do? Captain Lecter gave us two orders. One was to prevent the initialization. The other was only to be completed in the event we couldn't. We'll just do that one. Captain Lecter! It couldn't be the same Lecter from the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division, right? Heed my call! Valamar, the Ashen Knight! An ion? No, it isn't. Why are you the best, by the way? Oh my god. Wait, no! At least get the data out of here. We'll split our losses this time. Arrest warrants haven't been issued for either of you yet. Damn it. Just tell me one thing. As I'm sure you already know. My name is Lloyd Bannings, and I'm a police detective with the Crossbell State Police Department. What's your name? Dean Dwyer. With Thor's Military Academy, Class si No. I'm a provisional military officer with the Crossbell Government, Reen Schwarzer. Yes, this is Schwarzer speaking. Hey, good job on the mission. Nothing good about it, I'm afraid. I couldn't prevent them from erasing all the data. Eh, it's not the end of the world. You've still got plenty of other options. They're not the type to give up easily, but it'll set them back in the meantime. Is that so, Captain? You must know them fairly well. I guess you could say that. They're no pushovers. They've had the odds stacked against them in more ways than I can count. They've come out... I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything. I had a feeling something was going to happen. But I was powerless when it really did. Don't feel bad. There was no way we could have seen that coming. Especially that night. It was kind of like an ion, but at the same time it wasn't. Or like the Archaisms for that matter. He called it the Ashen Knight, didn't he? He did. Its power was out of this world. Do you think that was one of the Imperial Army's new weapons, too? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, it shares some similarities with their soldats. I don't know. Feels like there's more to it than that. And its pilot was anything but normal. Let's put it out of our minds for now. We stopped that data from falling into the Army's hands. It wasn't our smoothest operation. I'd still call it a success. I'm sure Tio, Yona, and Roberts can make do even without those terminals. Yona. We can always count on Ellie, Randy, Noel, the Chief, and Dudley too. Even Kia, Ario, Swazi, and Zite will help us. What this we one? There are still many barriers left between us and our goals, but we can get over them. Right. You're heading back then? That's the plan. I've played my part. I'll return with Valimar and the train this afternoon. Well, if that's what you want to do. I was just wondering if you wanted to go back on the Eisengraf together instead. You two haven't spoken since, right? Excuse me. This is where we part ways then. 
I look forward to any collaborative efforts we may have in the future. Yeah. Oh, right. Do you have anything you want me to pass on to Milliam? Not especially. We may technically be sisters, but I am simply a tool. Oh. I feel no particular familial bond with her. I imagine that deep down, she feels the same way. Yeah, but... no. Forget it. Take care, okay? I don't doubt you're going to be sent on plenty of dangerous missions in the days to come. Uh... understood? <sighs> Is something wrong? Not really. Just kind of jealous of them, I guess. Finally, oh, my gun. I'm sure there's the next one. See? Sorry about that, Valimar. Can't imagine it was a very pleasant trip for you, all bound up like that. It, it did, did not present, present the problem. I will now enter an active state and allow the camps to perform maintenance. Thanks. Well then, I'll leave him with you. Sure thing. We'll take good care of him. By the way, it's a real honor to be entrusted with the famous Ashen Knight. <laughs> Welcome back, Reen. You must be exhausted. Not really. I barely did anything. Everything went off without a hitch, mostly thanks to Valimar's power. Not to mention the planning of your people. <sighs> You're annoyed, I take it, by the way we do things. Not really. Regardless of the means, the war coming to a swift end was a good thing for everyone. As for what happened to Crossbell, I'm not in any position to talk. No, those aren't what bother me. I can buy that you had no idea Rufus was an iron blood. But did you really not know about my real father? Uh, I didn't have any hard evidence, but I did suspect that might be the case. You just seemed somehow similar. The air about you, your facial features. I was always puzzled by how fascinated he was by your class as well. I see. Excuse me then. Right. I 
it wasn't the only reason I worried about you, you know. Not that I could possibly tell him that. It's hard to believe it's been a whole month since I was here last. Guess it didn't snow after all. <sighs> it's not like the excitement of that day has faded away or anything. So why? Why do I feel so cold? Huh? Maybe because the game isn't over yet. Lino flowers. Welcome back, Reen. Who are you? Oh. Oh! Welcome back. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? <laughs> it's not like you to wallow in nostalgia. You all came to see me. <laughs> they started budding just yesterday. Should be in full bloom in about a week. <laughs> guess some of them couldn't wait. I guess not. It's good to be back, you guys. Agreed. We're all so happy to see you again. You must be wiped out after all you did, though. I'm fine, actually. It really wasn't that tough. Still, did all of you really come out here just to welcome me back? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? It's not like we second years have any lessons to worry about this time of year. Besides, I already had to come out here because of Valimar, so I figured I might as well say hi to you, too. Technically, the first years are supposed to be in class right now, but I turned it into a self-study period instead. And that was only possible because everyone's favorite captain told us exactly when you'd be arriving. <sighs> really now? It's nice to see you here too, Celine. Well, don't think I went out of my way to be here or anything. But given the way that you were acting when you left, I was a little worried about you. I mean, I wasn't. Not at all. <laughs> Still, thanks everyone. So what now? Going back to your dorm for some well-earned rest? We can carry your stuff for you if you want. No, no, I'm fine. You said that class is in session right now, right? I'm a student, so I might as well attend. I mean, I have been absent for a month now. Wow, you're no fun at all. I was hoping we could skip the whole class thing and get to the welcome back party. I like that idea. Come on, it's party time! Am I the only one who cares about studying at this school? Uh. <laughs> well, maybe we can hold the party tonight instead. <laughs> In that case, we should probably head back to the academy. This morning. I'll never forget those days. Me too. The final weeks we spent together as a class are like dazzling jewels forever etched into my memory. I cherished every last moment. The time stops for no one. The minutes and hours kept passing, and our After what happened, Balflame Palace soon returned to its original form. It was almost as if everything that took place there was some sort of dream. People's memories of that day started becoming vague. Many were convinced it was some kind of collect- 
that may have been in part a result of the chaotic days that followed, brought about by the Chancellor and Rufus. After the war, the entire country feared that Calvert would invade Crossbell and try to take it for its own. Using that to his advantage, Rufus quickly convinced the nobility to support him, pledged to cooperate with the Chancellor. January 1205, the combined forces of both Imperial and Provincial armies invaded Crossbell. Crossbell no longer possessed the weapon of mass destruction that had annihilated Gorelia Fortress. Thanks to that, the city was occupied in a mere day, with no bloodshed. Calvert was quick to react, sending countless airships to try and drive the Imperial force. However, between Rufus's leadership and the combined might of the tanks and soldats under his command, they were... As for me... Chancellor Osborne's words became the reality. Valimar and I were heralded as those responsible for Heimdall's liberation. And as the purported hero to the nation, I'd received and accepted a request in February to back up our forces in Crossbell. It was there that I found myself suddenly leading numerous soldats and fighting off the Republican army. Before I knew it, everyone around me was referring to me as the Ashen Sh Time kept flowing, and mid-March came. The month in which Class 7 would finally say their goodbyes. And that brings our history review right up to the dawn of the modern era. Next week, we'll be covering the 50-year period from the Orbal Revolution up to the present day. We're blowing through this material a lot more quickly than I would otherwise, so try to keep up with your reading. Oh, and Emma and Machias, if you see anyone struggling, try to help them out, okay? I fully intend to. Leave it to us. I've got plenty of good reference books on the subject. That would be very helpful, actually. Sounds like a pain. Oh well. I do happen to have a few gaps in my knowledge of the revolution. I should be able to help out with the technological... I'm guessing we're going to run into that Schmidt guy's name a lot, too. Well, he was one of the three leading disciples of Professor Epstein, so yeah. <laughs> It'll feel strange seeing his name in textbooks, knowing how he is in real life. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of amazing to think we were able to meet him now. All right, like I said, I'll be giving a quiz next week on everything we've covered up to now, which means it'll cover quadratic functions, factorizations, sets, logic, and probably. Oh, and if I'm feeling really mean, there might be a little calculus in there. So, uh, study for this one. That's a lot. I'm getting depressed just thinking about it. Sounds more like he's reciting some kind of curse. Uh, it is all material we've covered in class before, you know. <laughs> It'll be worth going over the most basic formulas at the very least.
That sums up this lecture on the structure of the stock market in Arabonia. Next week, we will hurry on and study unemployment and inflation problems. You're also going to be taking part in a debate on those issues. What kind of debate? A debate. It's when people are divided into groups for and against something, then they are. After much consideration, I decided we will use our remaining time to listen to and enjoy music from all manner of genres. From famous classics to popular modern music, I've gathered records of all kinds for you to enjoy. I even managed to borrow music from a hot new genre like heaving metal, I believe it's called. Oh, I wonder what that sounds like. <laughs> nice work, guys. You poor kids must be exhausted. Feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. I want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> you said it. Still, this is exactly how we wanted it. Right. They're doing it for our sake, so I don't mind it so much. There's no way we could cover everything in class, so it's sweet of them to give us the bullet points while they still can. It's paying off for us in the long run, yeah, so we owe them a lot. Forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah! You're gonna have to do all of this again next year! Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? Of course. This is to my benefit, too. If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Well... That's some confidence. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did it, though. Reen has the knack for pulling off anything he puts his mind to, after all. <laughs> I'm probably just being too optimistic. Nah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Guess we'll know for sure next year. Anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. The forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh la la with that special someone. Um... And truly, you teach us all by living your life as a shining counterexample. Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, Instructor. Hey! I'll have you know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with yours truly. But if that many men are interested in you, how can you spend so much time drinking uh. alone in your room? I think the polite thing to do here is just smile and nod. If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. Oh, it does seem like she's fighting an uphill battle to find a good match. Ah, just you wait, guys. In two weeks, when you see the hordes of chiseled, elegant gents draped over me, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Time really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Yeah. It felt like we still had more time. <laughs> For me, it feels like it's been ages since I last had one. I suppose it would. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? Not really. It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have. But I can't say I felt very comfortable there. I'm sure. Indeed. That must have been more painful than anything. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. <laughs> he did take me to a casino once, actually. He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. Shocking. It always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh?
So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. True enough. Although, I wonder if I'd end the day regretting that it has to end in the first place if we made it too much fun. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I know I want to attend practice, at least. Oh, same. I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club, plus Kirsch's has a new menu up, and... How many stomachs do you have? Will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? That's the plan. It sounds like Toa will finish handing all her work over to the others today, but so I thought it'd be nice to take some of it off their hands. Ah, oh, Reen, ever the reliable gopher. <laughs> That's a very you response. <laughs> if there's anything we can help with, let us know, okay? Well, I guess I'd better get going. I could go straight to the student council room, but it's my first time back in over a month, so maybe I should go and see how Valimar's doing too. Hey there, Rain. Looks like someone's done with class for the day. Yep, just got out. Wait, is that...? Yep, Angie's brand new bike. We started building it for you, but then we had a change of heart. I just couldn't tear you away from your current ride after you'd grown so attached. Now I feel bad, considering I pretty much did just that to you. Your new one's got a pretty cool design, though. Don't get too jealous. The specs are pretty much the same as yours. Well, before Angie tunes it up and adds her custom gear for distance riding, that is. But distance riding would mean... You're planning on going off on some big journey, aren't you? Ten points to rain. I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. My martial arts teacher did the same thing once, so I'm sure it'll be a valuable experience for me. The plan for now is to travel through the entirety of Zemiria. That's not a very specific plan, and a pretty sizable journey. You can say that again. I've no idea where she finds the energy. Oh, really now? Your plan to visit the continent's most famous engineering factories is pretty much exactly the same thing. <laughs> you really think so? I take it you'll be leaving Erebonia for a while too, George? Seems that way. First stops the Burl and ZCF. Always wanted to see it. After that, I got my heart set on a trip to the Epstein Foundation over in Lamont State. While I'm at it, I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert, too. Will you even be able to get into Calvert at this point? Hey, <laughs> I didn't say it'd be easy, but I think I can pull some strings. The real reason for this trip is to figure out what I can do as an engineer to help smooth over our international relations. Meeting the continent's finest engineers and discussing things with them should really help get the ball rolling on that. You thought that far ahead. That's really admirable. I hope you can find a way to make that happen. Even though I feel kind of hypocritical saying that. Don't beat yourself up over it, Reen. You have nothing to be ashamed of. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. She's right. You played a role that no one else could have. Just think. 
If things kept going the way they were going, we could have been at war with all of Crossbell. I don't even want to imagine the number of lives that would have been lost if you hadn't stepped in the way you did. Of course, us telling you whether or not you should feel guilty doesn't matter. It all comes down to you facing your own feelings over what you did. But there's one thing we'd like you to remember as you do. You're not alone, Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Sometimes, I wonder how I was lucky enough to get such good ones. Thanks, you guys. This really helps. <laughs> don't mention it. On a completely different note, why don't you pay Valimar a visit while you're here? We you spared no expense making sure he'd be nice and cozy in there. I think I will. But not to discredit your coziness efforts or anything, but he seems fine no matter where I leave him. <laughs> well, aren't you a sweet chevalier? Maybe I'll check in on him in a bit, too. Hey, Valimar. How you holding up? Glad to hear it. This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so you can get in as much maintenance as you need. I'm gonna need you a lot in the days ahead, Valimar. I will strive to meet your expectations. Uh, something wrong? Not as such. I thought I sensed something unusual. But... You really are getting to be scarily human these days, you know. What was it you sensed, though? A person? I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation in the Earth things below us. Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. Well, if you don't think it's anything worth worrying about, I'll try and put it out of my mind. If you sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me... telepathically was the word, right? Indeed. I shall use it to inform you should I sense anything is amiss. Yep, I knew it. No wonder she fell asleep. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. Oh, right. I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. Sleep. 
Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. Should I say it? Don't worry about it. It's my fault Should for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh... uh I... Well, if you say so... Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. Uh. Come with me. Um. W what's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all. And I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No, I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now. But... Come on. That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. Okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <sighs> <sighs> So, so, I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you. But I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt about it. Okay? Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. <laughs> well, I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep. My days of being president are almost done. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. Oh, really? Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. You're going on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. But after that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say no to you. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. After all you did with commanding the courageous, it's no wonder you're so in demand. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Still, I feel like it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little over dramatic there, though. Not at all. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I'm, and I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I'd completely forgotten, too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. But... You've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is Class 7 if it were any different. I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering.
and the chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he... Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the former and current chairman make quite a team, I see. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? It's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. I've brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines. If you'd like a snack to accompany your beer, would you like them alongside your dinner? Uh, damn it. Yes. Hmm. I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Charon from doing what she wants. so long since we last had Sharon's cooking. She hasn't lost her touch. None of it feels heavy on my stomach at Well, that's all my work done for the day. Maybe I should go see how everyone else is doing. In finance, the annexation of Crossbell has seen shares in Erebonian companies increase at an exponential rate across the board. And despite the Reinford Group announcing sweeping changes to its board members, its strong forecast for the next fiscal year is... It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Aubin Time, after the word for evening. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliche. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll. Um, this is you, isn't it, Reem? Yes, it's me. Um, sorry for calling you like this so late. I'm not bothering you, am I? You are. Yes, I wasn't going to, but Her Highness insisted. It'll take some getting. <laughs> I did. Oh. No, no, no.
This game will never end. 